extra. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Papu Kopo Shalom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord was sitting here telling me, and uh, he's putting in my spirit that people are trying to carry this ministry around. And uh, you can't, you can't carry, it's, it's too mighty to carry. You can't find an exclamation for signs and wonders and mysteries. Just, <laughs> you're not going to be able to figure it out. You're not going to be able to figure it out. God's got it figured out. And uh, I have to unload the things he gives me. Don't try to carry it with you. It's, it's too heavy. Uh, it's a burden. You, uh, um, if you read in the Bible about burdens, you'll, you'll catch it. But what the Lord is trying to speak right now about the ozone layer, ozone, had a big hole in it and this ministry didn't speak nothing of it we didn't have nothing to do with it they didn't tell me about it they didn't say that there was a problem in ozone they didn't say the problem was going to close up nothing but god did it and now i'm speaking and he showed me I'm speaking on it now and I'm blowing the trumpet and I saw Sister Ruth Ann want me to blow the trumpet yesterday in service and I wish I would have got it and blew it but I can't do you know I I gotta do what God tells me to do and I can't pick that trumpet up and blow it until he tells me but anyway it wouldn't have been that long of blowing it. But the ozone layer closed up. Get this now. Get this. The ozone layer closed up because all of the COVID-19 shut down. Think about it. It stopped all the factory work and all the smoke going up. And it stopped all the traffic and the cars and and all that going up and all that together like that fixed ozone. It makes it makes sense now. It makes sense. It makes sense if you think about it. It makes sense. And uh, schedule announcement. So the Lord did that. He fixed that. He fixed the ozone. And. Uh, he showed me how and the why that happened. But our schedule, we didn't get on much today. Probably won't be on much tomorrow. I'm visiting a church. Visiting another church. Uh, have something to do for the Lord, something to say. And uh, usually when he takes me around as an evangelist, it's, it's well it's always in a prophetic realm but I feel like there's something I have to say or do there um, and then Wednesday night we'll have Wednesday night services and then Thursday at uh, 12 we'll have service on chat church now, chat church is not going to go on forever. It's something I'm temporarily trying. And it's something that um, at, at some point in time, I'm going to run out of sermons. And uh, uh, I'll be all caught up with sermons from 2018 and 2019. And early this year, I'll be all caught up at some point. So at some point, uh, that's probably going to be running out and running low. And then uh, the holidays will be over. So 
Czech church will be no more as far as on a Thursday and on a uh, uh, holiday, holy day, feast day. So enjoy it while you can. Try to meet us when you can. Um, we're not going to do it every day, all day long. Um, that's not our lot or calling. And uh, I do enjoy talking with people and sitting down and discussing. But I'm a more rapid preacher. I'm a more rapid. Uh, now when 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 I when I speak about things of this nature, I like to slow down. Slow down because it's a word of wisdom and it's like a teaching. As a matter of fact, it's exactly what a, a, a deacon uh, and prophet and um, teacher is. It's, it's all together. And then um, the preacher and the uh, and the bishop and the evangelist and, and pastor, they're all together, linked. As I made the other video, I'm going to upload it as to why sometimes churches get out of order. And, uh, well, I don't want to get off in all that. But God healed the ozone. I want to make this video about that. And even if, now that's how God used it now. That's how God did it. But God is God. Now watch this now. If he wanted to, in all the factories, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, all the factories were still going and all the cars were still going. If he wanted to, they could speak the word and it was still closed. But he used that to let it heal itself and use the coronavirus shutdown of the factories and the cars and the smog. That's how he said it happened. And I don't know where the hole was in the atmosphere, but I would probably say that it was above a major factory and or city and that's what was keeping it open that's what was keeping it open so now it's closed just as the church closed all the church buildings got closed to ozone and that's why I say the prayers have to get back up through that ozone layer. Open that portal back up. Amen. Open that portal back up. So yeah, that's uh, that's the, uh, the ozone healing what he did. And uh, our schedule coming up tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> And uh, many people are seeing me now as a as a person, and that's exactly what I am. I'm a person. I'm a person with feelings. I'm a person who talks. I'm a person who doesn't know anything or know uh, everything. All I know is what God tells me. And uh, when you start separating that and seeing a person for a person instead of a spiritual leader or what office they're in or what title they go by um, you see right now I have the the title pastor but you could ask any evangelist any evangelist who's ever evangelized and they will tell you that that's what they thought they were to do but what God was having them to move was find a perfect fit that's what he was doing when he went to this church when he went over here and preached this won't right fit and then boom you're a teacher here you sit for a little bit you, you know that didn't work out 
you go over here God says go over there God says give a message here God says preach here God says teach here God says prophesy over here God says uh, share your testimony here and he keeps going and taking you to different spots until boom you find the place you're most needed and you go from a prayer warrior to a uh, to a uh, to a deacon and then the next thing you know you're the pastor that's how it works your book you go from praying and teaching to preaching evangelizing prophesying and then you're laying hands on the sick and they're recovering um, now that's the Bible way as I've told you the way he gave it to me was slightly different. It wasn't one, two, three, four, five. It was two, five, three, four, one. And you do the figuring and the math on that one. But anyway, uh, first apostles, then prophets, then evangelists, then pastors, then teachers. But nevertheless, a pastor should be should be equipped in every office and. Uh, Thank God that I am. I'm trained. But the burden of the ministry can only be held by the arms of the one that holds the cross. Glory to God. I can't hold this ministry. Neither can nobody else, nor can nobody understand it. It's a mystery. This ministry is a mystery ministry. Amen. But I know what I am. I know who I am. I know who called me by name, and I know what he calls me when he calls me. He calls me his watchman, amen. He calls me his son, amen. He calls me Gene, amen. He calls me preacher, amen. He calls me pastor, amen. He calls me prophet, amen. And just recently he called me apostle, amen. Glory to God, so I know what I am. I know the signs and wonders follow me. I'm getting fired up, glory to God. I don't need nobody to tell me what I am. I know what I am in God. Amen. you got to know what you are in God. Amen. He's got to tell you. The reason why somebody don't know what they are in God is because they're either not ready to receive it or they don't receive others for what they are. I'm telling you the truth. God sets them up and he sets them down. Amen. I said he's the establisher. Amen. I said... Praise God. He's the one that calls. Amen. He ordains. Amen. He builds the churches. Amen. He gives the messages. Amen. He gives the prophecies. Amen. He gives the dreams. Amen. He gives the visions. Amen. He gives the tongues. Amen. He gives the prayers. Amen. He gives the songs. Amen. He gives the interpretation of dreams and visions. Amen. He gives the interpretation of tongues. Amen. He gives all these things. As he distributed on down, as he went up, he distributed gifts into the atmosphere, into the ozone. Are you there? And God gave us a phone number, a phone number which numbers represent. Uh, if you add them all together, it equals 46. And you take that 4 and that 6, and you got 10. You got 10 commandments. And God said that the signs would follow them that believe. He said that He would confirm His word in the ministries of His people. And He said, I remember the vision of the calling. I remember being in the womb and seeing a light. And just now, just now, I said, Whatever I've called you to, that you are. 
I want to share a dream I had recently. I want to share a dream. And I wasn't making this video extra long for no reason. I might not get to make no videos in the next couple of days, so I might as well make it good. But I want to share this because this God just laid this on my heart. I was recently having a dream of a man in the neighborhood here. And uh, it lines up with what I just told you about the 4 and the 6, the 46, the phone number equals 46. But the man was walking to me and he has a cane. And I took the cane from him. And in the dream, he was trying to tell me that he was going to pay me for taking the cane from him because God had healed him. And he said, I only have $91. I only have $91. He kept saying it. I only got $91 in my bank. And I'm gonna, not going to call the man's name of uh, who it is. But when I woke up, I kept asking God, what's this 91? What's this? What's 91 dollars? What's 91? The miracle had happened that he was walking without a cane. And I recently prayed for somebody in a bathroom. And something happened. I'm not going to say what, but God did something. But that 91 nine and one nine plus one ten ten commandments has been following me everywhere like Moses ninety one and what that ten is 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 two hands and let me tell you what them two hands are and it's holy hands raised to God praising God and it's Moses and Aaron, the apostle and the prophet. And what these fingers are, two apostles, two prophets, two evangelists, two pastors, and two teachers. Or you could say, uh, apostle and prophet, evangelist, apostle and prophet, pastor, apostle prophet, teacher, deacon, but whatever you want to call it, bishop or however you want to say it, it's ten, ten commandments, that's the office and the authority 